everyone, how are we doing tonight? Good, okay. My name is Cassie Dockery and this presentation is about plant foods and disease prevention. I am a health and wellness major, so nutrition is very important to me, but I would rather focus on overall health rather than a diet that is a fad. Um, I think it's very important to implement nutrient-rich staples into your diet of whatever your diet is. So first, I would like to talk to you guys about diseases and how they can form into your body. So many diseases are formed from re free radicals, and free radicals are caused by environmental factors such as smoking, pollution, radiation, and sometimes even medications. Um, and after a buildup of these free radicals, you can develop oxidative stress. And oxidative stress is what damages your cells in your body. So as you can see, you can see that throughout the process of accumulating those free radicals and oxidative stress, your brain is completely different. Um, it's completely damaged. Um, and Alzheimer's is not the only disease that can form from free radicals and oxidative stress. Other neurological diseases include ALS, multiple sclerosis, and some other diseases include different types of cancers, um, osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, which are inflammatory diseases. You can also develop fetal damage and pulmonary diseases. So now I will talk to you guys about how you can prevent those things from happening in your body. Um, antioxidants are found in many different plant foods, and they are so, so powerful. Um, so basically, this is a representation of a cell. <laughs> And you can see that the free radical is moving into the cell and it damages things like your neurons and your neutrons and your electrons. And those antioxidants will move into the cell and they fight off those free radicals. So you can view it as in the free radical attacks the antioxidant instead of the things in your cells or it's just preventative. So how do you get antioxidants in your body? Like how can you identify them and how can you have an abundance of them. So basically, plant foods, that is all. Um, and plant foods are so, so, so important because they are so rich in these antioxidants versus other foods. You can find antioxidants in other foods. Um, for example, beer is the fourth largest source of antioxidants for Americans. So you can still go bar hopping on the Saturday night and get your antioxidants, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's not very op optimal. But instead, you can have one serving of cherries and it has 713 units of antioxidants versus a serving of salmon, which has three. Um, so I'm not saying that you should resort to a vegan diet or a plant-based diet to receive all these good beneficial things, but simply just put those staples into your diet because it can make a huge change. And um, those changes are based on your decisions. So whenever you're going to the grocery store and you are looking for produce that has more antioxidants, it is so simple. You can choose the yellow corn or over the white corn. And why is that? Because the antioxidants are found in pigmented foods. So for example, I have some oranges. Um, here I have a blood orange, and this is a navel orange. So which one do you guys think has more antioxidants? Blood. Yes, the blood orange, because it is um, darker in pigment. So it's so simple. You can pick the red onion over the white onion, the red grapefruit over the pink grapefruit. So. Lastly, I'm going to talk about diets. Um, there is not one diet that's going to help you from developing diseases. There's not one diet that's going to increase the longevity of your life. Um, it is simply just watching what you put in your body. And it's, it can be negative or positive. So is there anything that will truly prevent you from getting sick? Or is there something that will keep you safe? No, <laughs> it is simply just taking care of yourself. Okay, any questions? Yeah. Um, what foods or vegetables would 
would you recommend that have like the most antioxidants in them? Is like a, like like a top five? Or... Yeah. So some really common berries that have so many antioxidants are goji berries, blueberries, um, blackberries, anything that's very dark in pigment like that. Um, some berries can even have up to like a thousand units of antioxidants per serving. Anyone else? Okay, <laughs> thank you.